The Desvil is a new Iranian ballistic missile. It can be seen as an evolution of the Fadeh 110, Conqueror 110, that was adopted back in 2002. Since its introduction Iran developed numerous improved versions of this short-range ballistic missile, including Khaliji Fars, Hormuz, etc. These first-generation missiles had a range of around 300 kilometers. The second-generation missile, known as Fadeh 313, Conqueror 313, was first unveiled in 2015. It used a detachable warhead, re-rentry vehicle. This allowed to increase the range to 500 kilometers. Following this design with detachable warhead another missile was built. The Zulfikar ballistic missile was launched in 2016. It had further increased range. Also its re-entry vehicle had the ability to correct its path after separation. Shortly afterwards, a newer version of the Fadeh 313 was unveiled. The new Desvu missile was named after a city in Iran that was almost completely destroyed by Iraqi missile attacks during Iran-Iraq War, 1980-1988. It had nearly same dimensions as the Zulfikar, though it had a number of advancements. Despite the same length and diameter, the missile had 300 kilometers more range. Although by 2020 most of the specifications were classified but it was clear that this missile is using much more advanced solid fuel propellant and also has a more powerful engine. This gave the missile about 30% more range compared to previous Fadeh 110 series missiles with similar dimensions. The Desvil has a range of 1000 kilometers. It carries a 600 or 700 kilograms warhead and has a CEP of 5 meters. This hypersonic missile can dive toward its targets at a speed of Mach 7, 8643 km/h. First launched in 2019, this missile is so far the most advanced and has the longest range of the second generation Fadeh 110 missiles. It is claimed that the Desvil also uses a warhead with twice the destructive power. This could be an indication that this missile can carry more payload or it uses more advanced explosives. The Desvil demonstrates Iranian progress in terms of ballistic missile development. This missile clearly uses all advancements of Iranian missile industry, including engine parts, guidance systems, structure materials, fuel, warhead, and ECT. The previous Fadeh 313 missile can be carried and launched by first-generation launchers, based on 6x6 wheel chassis. However Zufikar and Desvil used their own launcher vehicles with 8x8 configuration version. The launcher vehicle can carry two missiles at once. Originally designed to deal with threats around Iran, the Desvil missile covers significant areas in the Middle East. It can even hit some parts of Israel's territory without the need for liquid fuel medium range ballistic missiles. Also it is accurate enough to hit any kind of targets. In 2020 Iran launched a number of Fadeh 313 and Qayyam ballistic missiles against airbases in Iraq where US troops were stationed. At least six of these missiles were reportedly older Fadeh 313s that predeceased the Desvil. These missiles penetrated the US air defense systems and hit their designated targets. According to satellite imagery some of these missiles had a CEP of only 2 to 3 meters. This shows how capable these new Iranian missiles are. This is a good indication that Iran managed to develop effective and deadly ballistic missiles. Interestingly these Iranian missiles are produced in underground facilities. In 2020 Iran has built a third underground plant for the production of missiles.